Hello world, welcome to another episode of GTA Theories and Thoughts. As per usual in this episode, I will share my thoughts regarding several topics related to the GTA storyline. In particular, the storyline from the 3D universe. But I will also be covering stories from other universes in the GTA timeline. Regardless, this is where opinions matter. Whose opinion? Well, everybody's opinion. Everyone. And when I mean everyone, that means everyone who is tuned in to this channel. And also other channels that, is, that are related to this channel. We are all free to share our opinion. We are open to discussion regarding several issues related to our favorite characters, for example. Anyways, for today's episode, we will look at a certain prominent character in the GTA series, and his name is Donald Love. Donald Love is a well-known character in the GTA 3D universe. He is present and mentioned in almost all of the GTA games from that particular era, which is the 3D universe. Donald's first appearance in the GTA game dates back to 2001 with Grand Theft Auto 3, where he was one of the people to give missions to the protagonist. However, if you follow the chronology of the GTA timeline, his first appearance is in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, a game which storyline is set in 1986. GTA 3's storyline, on the other hand, was set in the year 2001, the same year that the game was released. Regardless, Donald's first appearance was as a young apprentice in the property business world. He is a prodigy and his mentor was none other than the ambitious Avery Carrington. Donald appeared to have learned a lot from Avery. Donald is like a sponge. He absorbed most, almost all of the knowledge that Avery taught him. So much that by 1998, Donald was already trying to become a mayor in Liberty City. Donald found himself in Liberty City in 1998 competing to become mayor. This happened after the death of the previous mayor, Mayor R.C. Hall, who was assassinated by Tony Cipriani in the park. Donald is in the hunt to become mayor. However, he realized that he needed some assistance. He needed some backup, to say the least. And so he turned towards the Leon crime family. As a result, Donald had an acquaintance in Tony Cipriani, who was working for Salvatore Leone back then. Donald's main political rival was Miles O'Donovan. Many times Donald tried to disrupt Donovan's momentum. He gave orders to Tony to disrupt Donovan's progress in the race to become mayor. But eventually, O'Donovan found evidence linking Donald to the Mafia. This link between Donald and the Leonis were too obvious for the public, and as a result, Donovan was favored to become the mayor of Liberty City. Donovan won the election, and Donald became bankrupt because of his failed attempts to fraud Donovan's progress. Donald was left humiliated by his loss and his bankruptcy so much that he moved to a flop house in Shoreside Vale. He was not on very good terms with Tony, whom he blamed for him losing the election. However, it won't be long before Donald needed Tony's help again. Donald would order Tony to kill several people including his former mentor Avery, who visited Liberty City, and reporter Ned Burner. Donald also ordered for Tony to collect the two corpses for him to eat. 
his cannibalistic behavior was very obvious. However, it is not clear when it actually began. But one thing for sure is that Donald is a hedonist, and that he believes that pleasure, self-pleasure, is the highest achievement for himself, and he does not really care about what other people think. Interestingly, Donald was also the mastermind behind the mass destruction of Fort Staunton in Staunton Island. Donald described to Tony that the act of blowing up Fort Staunton would make them very rich people. Indeed, Donald became rich yet again. He bought a mansion in Cedar Grove. Unfortunately, the mansion was attacked by a group of Colombian cartel gang members, and Donald had to flee. He enlisted Tony's help to help him get out of Shoreside Vale, and uh, he departed with two corpses in his private jet. The mansion, however, was seized by the Colombian cartel by 2001. While some might think that Donald's days in Liberty City are numbered, they had to think again, for Donald had many other things in mind. Donald only became richer and more powerful. He has several businesses overseas, and by March 2001, he returned to Liberty City, and he returned with a bang. He re-established Love Media and purchased most of the media outlets in Liberty City. Among them are 900 radio stations. 300 television stations, four networks, three satellites, ten senators, the Liberty Tree newspaper, the Dog Food Company, and the 30-story Love Media building in Bedford Point. Donald also hired an old man who taught him Tai Chi. Perhaps Tai Chi has helped Donald to become a more calmer individual. In 2001, he is seen to be a calmer individual compared to three years previously. At the same time, he also hired a certain hitman to do his work, like acting as a decoy and allowing his old friend to escape police attention. Donald also inherited some personalities from his late mentor. Something to do with inciting gang war to drive down real estate prices—a trick which always works in his favor, just as it did with his late mentor. However, once the dust has settled, Donald and his old friend disappeared without trace, never to be seen again in Liberty City, at least. So, what happened to Donald after? The, the events in Liberty City. Well, I did say that he disappeared without trace. However, there are clues to where he might be. There is no clear indication as to the fate of Donald Love or the Love Media Company. However, there are several theories regarding the latter. For example, number one. Love Media would have disintegrated after 2001. This would lead to the splitting of various media outlets in Liberty City into independent stations, probably. For example, radio station could be taken over. They might still run, but some might not be as fortunate as others. Regardless. It is not very likely that the station will be taken off the air, but that is just my opinion. There are also chances that older radio stations might make a comeback in Liberty City. For example, Radio Del Mundo, which was not on the air in 2001 when Love Media was dominating the airways. So there is a chance that 
a radio station like Del Mundo might return. But other than that, perhaps as for LCFR, well, that is also unclear because in 2001 there is only Chatterbox, and Chatterbox used to be a segment in LCFR itself. But there might also be a chance that LCFR might return and that Chatterbox will either become a segment again or just stay as an independent uh, radio station instead. This is also up to interpretation. Do suggest your ideas uh, in the comments below. Share your thoughts about it. Now let's go to Rockstar's opinion. I, I mean Rockstar's statement. Okay, according to Rockstar, no one is quite sure what happened to Donald Love. He certainly crossed a few boundaries and was trying to find a way back to normality. Whether or not he managed this, and what happened to the elderly Asian gentleman, are matters we cannot speculate on. We can also find some evidence of Donald's presence. For example, we can see his pictures on newspapers in Grand Theft Auto 4, most notably the Liberty Tree, with Love's picture accompanying a story headline Love's hate relationship with Texas, as in money that you pay, not the state in the United States, not the state of Texas, sorry. And later in Grand Theft Auto 5, Love is one of the honorable celebrities in the Vinewood Walk of Fame. He received a star in the Vinewood Walk of Fame. As a conclusion, it can be said that Donald is pretty much alive today in the GTA world. This is according to the evidence that we gathered. For example, he's appeared in newspapers, suggesting that he is very much active. Although we do not know to what amount or to what certain degree he is active. Regardless, we still do not know where he is staying, where are his current whereabouts. That is uh, up to interpretation and up to speculation. And so that wraps up our episode for this time. What do you think about this subject matter? What do you think about Donald Love? Please give your comments and thoughts in the comments section below. I really want to hear what you guys think. Before I leave, I would like to say thank you for watching or listening. And please stay safe everybody. Bye bye. Ciao.